Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back here to a, another episode on Power World. <laughs> As you guys can see, we are looking a little bit of a different color from when we last left up. We have the fire resistant metal armor and boy oh boy have I been at work between episodes. Let's spit around and have a gander of what I've done. Okay, so you might think the base looks pretty much the same and well, it... It very much does, apart from a few new pals we've got around here. We've I went ahead and did a little bit more exploring. I went and checked out this bottom island. I heard it was pretty good. There was some cool things over there. I did get some pretty good charms. Um, just down here, some defense pendant and a life pendant. I managed to pick those up, I'm pretty sure, from chests down that way. So that was pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, we built the heat resistant armor. Not too shabby at all. We're now level 26 as well, so we've got all those cool upgrades that uh, come along with it. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got the cow in here producing us uh, some milk, and then I went ahead and added a chicken so we can get eggs. So we pretty much have everything ready to go to start making cakes, which means we can breed, which means we can get better pals. And yeah, I've just I've just started to realize how massive this game can get. So. <laughs> Yeah, sorry for uh, a slower start of six episodes, but I think we're going to get into a nice big run of it now. Let me show you guys our all and our new pals as well that have gone out and just uh, picked up on the way. So, we've got uh, this loop moon here. Pretty good. Uh, I like the attack of it. Um, it does pretty nicely. You can send it in and attack things. You don't need a saddle or anything like that. Uh, we've got the Hell Zephyr, which is an absolutely awesome thing. It's going to be our best flyer. I think it's got swift passive as well, but unfortunately we don't unlock its saddle until like 36 or something like that, which is a little unfortunate. Coming through here, I think everything else is the same apart from this guy. We've got the Van Worm, which is apparently one of the fastest uh, stars ones we can get and it's got the swift passive as well so we're gonna go ahead and swap this out for nightwing he's done us good but um you know with his you know with his glutton thing i'm pretty sure that makes him yet his food just does way less than what it needs to so we're gonna go ahead and start using this one here i've already crafted up the saddle uh we got this echiotheridia anyways um it's got massive food and it's a big it's a big lumberjack so we might go ahead and uh just Swap it out with this one just for the minute. Oh, look at it. It's got the gold. It looks really cool as well. Just so we can get a little bit of a different one cruising around here. And then I think we've got this uh, loop pop. I th it makes like this cotton candy stuff, which is pretty cool. And then everything else is pretty much the same, I'm thinking. So, yeah, let's check out and see how fast yeah. this thing is going to be now. Oh, yeah. Can we go up? Oh, there we go. You have to kind of double tap this one. Oh, yeah, that's that seems much faster. You don't get like a... Do we get a sprint? I don't know if we get a sprint, but let's see what its attacks are like. <laughs> Got a fire and an air cannon. Oh, what's this? Spirit fire. Oh, can I get up a little bit? Oh, no. Oh, spirit fire just seems like kind of a heavier blast, I suppose. Can I even hit any of these guys or no? Apparently not. Hey, there we go. Finally, something hit. Okay, let me uh, do that one. And I'll show you guys these two really good, uh, really quickly. Yeah. This looping one is pretty sweet. Let me... Oh, I didn't really want to shoot that one. Anyways, uh, can we go on that? Go in it and kabam! Nice, 1200 damage, just like that. Pretty good. And uh, this one, he is a really cool. He's like a flame bird as well. I think it's going to be really good to fly around on this thing when we can. But I think I might kill these things straight away. That'd be good. It's got like a dark move and like this like fire tornado thing. Yeah, that's... <laughs> How cool is that? We're starting to get some really cool pals, I think. So, yeah, that's been pretty fun. I then do... I just went kind of exploring up this way a little bit further. And then, yeah, down this way a little bit. A couple of bosses we could go get as well today. But, yeah, I think we should go ahead and see... Woo! If we can't, uh, you know, get this electricity up and running here at the base... We are now the correct level for that, so we'll see how we go. I believe I have everything in order to do it. We unlocked this locker as well. So I presume it's this bigger storage up above the chest storage, which is pretty cool. And there's a few variants, so that is kind of look different. I don't think they're any different. They just kind of look different. So, yeah, we'll see how we go there. But we need um, power generator. So we need some more ingots and... 
and more electronic organs. Oh, uh, silo. I went ahead and built that too. Just popped it over there. It increases our crop yielding. And then I did go ahead and also organize some of our chests as well. So hopefully, you know, the pals come and just start dumping random crap in there. But I've kind of got it a little bit more sorted. And then at least that way whatever's here is full so we can try and utilize that a little bit better as well okay so i think we need to go out and kill some electric type pals which i know there's a few of those little uh, electric ones over just i think it's is it just up here i think they are abandoned mine shaft should we have a look inside oh there's a black market here Yo, what's up, my dude? Uh, buy contraband? Okay, okay. I don't have, uh, any of my stuff here, but I do have a ton of crap back at the base. Okay, so this is where we can sell all of our things. Okay, we might have to mark him on the map. Can I make a marker? I think there is a way for you to capture him, too, and then bring him back to your base. I've been seeing that online, which looks pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, we'll, we'll remember where this is and we'll bring back some coins later on and see if there's anything better for us to buy. Yeah, but we should be able to... Oh, I'm one organ short. Are you serious? Oh, I guess while we're here and there's uh, one here, let's go ahead and upgrade that to uh, level 5. Okay, we should have enough. There we go. We do. Okay, power generator. I guess let's go ahead and chuck it up the back here. I don't really know where else it should go. Yeah, come help me build everyone. I don't want to sit here and whack this for two minutes. Oh my god, that thing does so much extra. Like that went from one minute, I think two and a bit minutes, what to down to one minute. There we go. Power capacity is zero. Required generating electricity. Electric pals at the base can now store electricity, allowing you to use electricity facilities. Right, so we don't have any of those, that's probably why. Uh, the hypersphere we will need, and the sphere assembly line. Heck to the yeah. We've only got a really low level uh, electricity, I suppose. Go generate electricity, Joel Hog. Bzzz. Now, we should be able to come over here and craft ourselves up some cakes oh we need the honey damn i forgot about that um i presume it's the bee drills and these things okay they are a little scary for me to go get but i think we're gonna have to yeah. go do it okay there they are let me go ahead and dismount let's get rid of you Okay, well, we did get a hunting, but uh, I figured we'd want to try and capture it. Let me just go up, maybe reload a little bit before it... Uh... Okay. There we go, we should get it. Nice. There we go, so I'm presuming this thing here, if we put it inside the little farm at the base, it should produce us honey. I would imagine that's how this all goes. So then we've got a milk producer, we've got an egg producer, and, and now we've got the honey producer, and we've got the wheat already going. We've got a ton of that, so we should be able to get those cakes. No dramas now. Oh, do we have, our, we have our hot one on at the moment? I think we need to chuck it on our cold one if we're going up this way let me put on our cold resistance armor snow biome's looking pretty cool what the heck dodge that come on capture us a sweet oh i think we got the little sweet um oh my god what is this thing ah stop attacking me i want to get this thing this thing looks insane oh it froze me no oh god oh my god there's two Get out of here. Did we get it? Oh, I think we got it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we just got it. Jesus. Oh, I don't like this area. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave. I should, I should probably leave. Oh, we finally found some coal. 
Let me also mark this on the map. Okay, we should be able to make a cake. Oh my god, this takes forever. That is the longest time to make a bloody cake. Gosh dang it. But it is making us honey. It's bringing it over. Collecting it up. Very nice. Got that underway. Uh, what else? I think we just dinged uh, level uh, 27 as well, which means we should be able to craft up this awesome new hypersphere. Cold resistant metal and the assembly line. Where are you at, bro? Come here. Okay, you stay in there. And I want to go ahead and get the celery. Come over here. Why are you going so fast, bro? Let me chuck you in here. And let's chuck that in there. Love is blossoming between two pals. Nicely done. Okay, now this should get us uh, a bushy, if that's how we pronounce it. And then with the bushy and the nightwing, we can breed and get the Anubis, which is absolutely a, a beast uh, that runs around and does so much stuff for the base. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and work on that thing, but maybe we'll build a little area over here. It's a little bit crooked, but hey, that's all right. What are we going to do? Oh, yeah. It's powered online. We can make all of this big stuff here, too. Let me just start production. One. Acquire. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Get some metal. Uh, should we have some a little bit more ready to go? Looking pretty cool. I don't know how long this would take us normally, but I'm just going to leave that, and then one of the pals will come and do it in the morning. Okay, so we now have uh, hypospheres as well. Okay, I think to go ahead and wrap up the episode just there, we have spent a lot of time just chilling around here at base. So I think it might be time for us to go see if we can uh, get out of our base for one. I think it might be time to see if we can go ahead and take on this uh, syndicate tower. I'm not sure what level or anything anything's going to be inside here, but... Entry 104, hole begins the boss battle. I'll put this in members ready for battle. Okay. I have no idea how difficult it's going to be. I haven't looked it up or anything like that, so we could come in here and die straight away. It's a pretty epic little intro. It could be pretty difficult. I imagine this one here being the first one is uh, a little bit easier. Oh my god, 30,000 health. Okay, well I'm not really doing too much in here, but uh, our pal seems to be putting in a bit of work, which is nice. I don't know how, are we meant to get on like, what, four levels of this crap? I don't know how we're going to get with that. Probably can play this a little bit more tactically and, yeah, like, oh my god, don't, no, 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 it's not attacking me. Get away from me. Hello, game. God. Boss eliminated. Acquired five ancient technology points. Jesus. Okay, that's it. I mean, that was the first one we did. In, like, not wrong, but still. Grizzbolt. But I guess let's go run in and do the dungeon as well. Why not? It's only level 13. We should be fine. I do notice you get a ton of these big uh, pallium fragment uh, ones in here. Oh, this is sulfur as well? It is! I've been looking for this for ages to make some gunpowder, but I just couldn't find it. Maybe it's only in here? I presume it's not only in here. I imagine it just spawns in a bigger amount in here. Okay, not too bad. Just kind of like run through different different layers of things. Maybe we'll get out of the uh, dire howl and go cruising around him. I'm just going to presume I'm going the right direction. Nothing in here is telling me I'm not going the right direction. Okay, I think we finally found the bloody boss room. Lame throwers. Oh, easy. I can just grab these couple chests. And there we go. 
we're good to leave. Alrighty, well there you have it guys. I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode this day. It was a pretty successful one. We did our first syndicate tower. We went ahead and did a dungeon as well. We got some breeding underway, which is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna have so much fun with that. I can't wait. Um, and we got a fair few ton of new pals too and got like a nice little upgrade of the base going. So we've done pretty well for today's episode, I think. So if you guys have enjoyed this one at all, don't forget that like button and subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Later. Oh,